Hello my scholars, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. In this channel, we will be tackling 2019 past questions for the subject government. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. school channel and in this video clip we'll be tackling question 61 to 79 now beginning with question 61 a moral or legal conviction for the observance of the constitution may be described as dash option a the rule of law option b constitutionalism option c immunity option d political obligation now the answer to this question is constitutionalism now what is constitutionalism uh, firstly, we know that a um, constitution is a document of, of law or containing the law of a nation. Now, constitutionalism is a, a set of principle or a system a, that provides a, a democratic government. Now, when we're talking about principle, we're talking about um, the presence of separation of power, the presence of um, in, an independent judiciary. We're talking about rule of law. So these are principles that are set up by the government to ensure that the, the government is a democratic government. So it's, it's, it's a term used to descri describe the confirmation or the compliance with the provision of the constitution. That is why option B is the correct answer to this question. However, the rule of law simply means supremacy of law. Immunity could be protection against something, might be a disease. For political obligation is, is a moral obligation to obey the law. There's a limitation here and a, a specification to political obligation. It has to do with moral obligation. It may not be, it, it's, not, it's not limited to legal or it's not concentrated on if it is a legal obligation, but because it is really right, for us to obey and that is why we obey that is political obligation so option b is the correct answer to this question question 62 the primary essence of a public corporation is dash option a profit realization option b public utility option c for the formulation of government policies option d for the resolution of administrative disputes now, the answer to this question is option B, public utility. Public corporation is a corporation or are entities that are created by the state to provide or carry out public services or public missions. Now, examples of public corporation, PHCN, Power Holding Company of Nigeria, NRC, Nigeria Railway Corporation, and so on and so forth. So, public corporation is created to carry out public services. Now, this is intended to for public utility or public usage. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 63. The principle that determines the pattern of interaction of a country in international politics is known as DASH. Option A, foreign policy. Option B, international trade. Option C, alignment policy. Option D, international relations. The answer to this question is option A, foreign policy, because it is a general objectives that guides the activity as well as the interaction with other countries. So option A is the correct answer because that's the general objectives. And this question states the principle that determines the pattern of interaction. So it guides us, foreign policy guides us through uh, interaction with other countries. Option B, international trade, has to do with the economic transaction that is made between countries. Alignment policy has to do with the non-interference -inter with um, affairs pertaining to other countries. We look at international relations. Um, it has to do with the study of interactions between countries in, in fields such as politics, economics, security, and so on and so forth. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 64. The arm of government responsible for the approval of war is the dash. Option A, judiciary. Option B, executive. Option C, legislature. Option D, none. The answer to this question is option C, legislature. They approve the declaration of war. Why executive declares the war, fights back invasion and maintain peace. But option C, legislature, they approve the declaration of war. Option C is the correct answer to this question. 
Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT past questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below where it takes you to my school website. There, you can download my school mobile app for your Android phones or my school software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and download and start practicing your questions. Moving on to question 65. The West African Students' Union was formed in Dash. Option A, 1925. Option B, 1924. Option C, 1922. Option D, 1923. The answer to this question is option A, 1925. The West African Students' Union, WASU, was formed on the 7th of August, 1925, by 21 law students, led by Ladipo Sholanke and Abad Bankole Bright. The answer to this question is option A, 1925. I believe you're enjoying this sort of content. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 66. The Chicks Commission was set up to look into the issue of revenue allocation in Dash. Option A, 1946. Option B, 1957. Option C, 1951. Option D, 1953. The answer to this question is option D, 1953. Chicks Commission applied the principle of derivation, recommending 50% of the revenue allocation to be allocated to the federal government and the remaining 50 to other regions. Option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 67. The head of the district in the Aousa slash Fulani Empire were the Dash, A. Emias of Gwandu and Shokoto B. Galadima, C. Akimi, D. Sakin Rua. Now, the answer to this question is option C. Akimi. He was in charge of the district. Option A. Emir of Gwandu and Shokoto. We had caliphates. Caliphates were divided into emirates, and each emirate were headed by an emir. So we had the Gwandu Emirates and the Shokoto Emirates. So Galadima is the is, is he was in charge of the capital. Sakirua was the river fishing official. So Akimi what was in charge of the district option c is the correct answer to this question question 68 under the 1979 constitution of nigeria each state was al allowed to elect dash option a three senators option b from two to five senators depending on the population option c five senators option d as many senators as the state could finance the answer to this question is option c five senators under the 1979 constitution each state were divided into five districts and each of which elected one senators so we had five districts in one state and those five um, districts add one senator each so for one state we had five senators that is the answer to this question however under the 1999 constitution the state had three senators and then the federal capital had an extra one senator so option c is the correct answer to this question question 69 the armed forces ruling council a frc is attributable to the dash regime a ibrahim babangidas b morita last slash obasan just c yakubu gowan d Abdul Salam Abu Bakas. The answer to this question is option A. Ibrahim Babangida. He established the AFRC following the 1985 Nigerian coup d'etat that overthrew Muhammad Buhari. The answer to this question is option A. Question 70. The dwindling and market falls in oil prices are prime indicators for Nigeria political economic consideration for dash option a indigenization policy option b diversification option c the adoption of the united nations vision 2030 option d nationalization policy the answer to this question is option b diversification in this question we are asked to to pinpoint that solution or an alternative um to the problem of decline in oil prices or the market fall in oil prices so we see that diversification here means it is a process of shifting the economy away from a single income to multiple choices
from the word diverse? Option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 71. Nigeria's top contribution to Africa's agenda of decolonization and anti-racism was mostly enhanced with the formation of the DASH. Option A, New Partnership for African Development, NEPAD. Option B, Organization of African Unity, OAU. Option C, Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS. Option D, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Now, the answer to this question is Option B, Organization of African Unity, OAU. Nigeria played a vital role in the formation of Organization of African Unity, which was um, established on the 25th of May, 1963, and its subsequent um, transformation into African Unity in the year 2001. The organization followed Nigeria's principled stand built on the philosophy of gradualism proposed by Nigerian Prime Minister in person of Tafawa Balewa. The answer to this question is option B, Organization of African Unity, OAU. Question 72. One of the following political parties produced Nigeria's first Prime Minister? Option A, Northern People's Congress, NPC. Option B, National Co Council of Nigerian Citizens, NCNC. Option C, Action Group AG, Option D, Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN. The answer to this question is Option A, Northern People's Congress. In 1957, Nigeria produced its first Prime Minister in person of Tafawa Balewa through the political party Northern, Northern People's Congress, NPC. Question 73. The National Assembly in the Second Republic was made up of the Dash. Option A, House of Chiefs and the Senate. Option B, Lower House and the House of Representatives. Option C, Senate and the House of Lords. Option D, No. Now, the answer to this question is No. The Second Republic, that is the Constitution of um, 1979, established a bicameral legislature. The House of Representatives had 450 members and the House of Senate, which had 95 members. So, this as of rep and senate are not part of the options that's why we'll be going for option d none question 74 the all progressive congress apc is the result of a coalition of the following parties except the dash option a all nigeria people people's party anpp option b action congress of nigeria acn option c, c united progressive grand alliance opga option d congress of Progressive change, CPC. The answer to this question is option C, United Progressive Grand Alliance. This was not a part of the union. So we know that APC was formed on the 6th of February 2013 and it was as a result of the union of some parties. What are these parties? ANPP, ACN, CPC and a part of or a formation of APGA. That is all progressive grand alliance. So option C is not part of the union. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 75. The process by which electorates remove elected official is called dash. A. Impeachment. B. Recall. C. Vote of no confidence. D. Referendum. Option A. Impeachment means to initiate charges against some, a public official for misconduct. Then option B. Recall is to remove an official by vote. Option C, vote of no confidence, is a vote about whether a person holding a particular position is no longer fit for that position. Option D, reference, is a vote by electorate. From my explanation, we see that recall is the answer to remove an official by vote. Option B is the correct answer to this question. Be reminded that there are several solution providers readily waiting to answer all of your questions. So you can do so, ask your questions by using the link in the description below. Click on the link where it takes you to my school website. There you can ask your questions and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 76. The Economic and Social Council is an organ of the DASH. Option A, African Union. Option B, Commonwealth of Nations. Option C, United Nations. Option D, New Partnership for African Development. The answer to this question is United States Nations. Option C. Do not forget that we have six organs of the United States. We have the General Assembly. We have the Security Council. 
We have the Economic and Social Council, we have the Trustee Council, we have the International Court of Justice, as well as the United Nations Secretariat. The answer to this question is option C, United Nations. Do you have better steps, solutions, or explanations to any of this question? If so, feel free to use the comment section below indicate the questions and the solutions you would like to share. Question 77. Nigeria joined the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, in dash. Option A, 1970. Option B, 1971. Option C, 1972. Option D, 1973. The answer to this question is 1971. So Nigeria joined OPEC in the year 1971. Question 78. The International Criminal Court, ICC, has its headquarters in dash. Option A, eggs. Netherlands, option B, Vienna, Austria, option C, New York, United States, option D, Ottawa, Canada. The answer to this question is option A, X, Netherlands. Now, ICC is an intergovernmental organization as well as an international tribunal. So, its headquarters is in X, Netherlands. Option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 79. The current Secretary General of the United Nations is dash A, Ban Ki-moon, B, Filippo Grandi, C. George Sampaio, D. Antonio Guterres. Now, the answer to this question is option D. Antonio Guterres is the ninth Secretary General of the United Nations and he took office on the 1st of January 2017. However, Ban Ki moon is eighth Secretary General of the United Nations. Uh, Filippo Grandi is the current High Commissioner of Refugee for the United Nations. Option C. George Sampao is the 18th president of Portugal and the secretary general of the Socialist Party. Option D is the correct answer. I believe you enjoy this content. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.